Hello everybody, this is CostViewer. In this short tutorial I would like to show you FIFO calculation model in Excel. Uh, it turns out that there are lots of materials, educational tutorials, what FIFO is all about, which is a very simple concept. However, it's really difficult to find um, how to do it in Excel, how to really calculate FIFO uh, for the inventory, for example model movement. So actually it turns out it's not that simple to calculate FIFO in Excel or build a formula that would calculate uh, inventory that is used up, consumed using FIFO uh, formula and I decided to build one for you. I admit I'm not the author of, of, of this pretty smart formula but it really works. So this is the model I would like to share with you and in this model any cell that is white shaded it is fully editable whereas all gray gray shaded cells are they either have formulae or they are just not to be edited because they are just you know descriptions headers etc. So in this model what I have here I have opening balance and I have some quantities here uh, I have five units uh, 20 let's say dollars each then I have three units ten dollars each and two units five dollars each so that's my opening balance which I just show here again then I buy five units in this period in March which is purchased here and then I use up ten units here I just entered ten units so you could easily see what unit price of each one of those is and I'm gonna play with these units in a moment so you can see that every time I use one uh, one uh, unit uh, I can have it, this unit uh, unit price calculated but of course uh, if I put uh, for example uh, six units uh, you will see that the weighted average price will be calculated by by the system by the system by model uh, automatically so you can see that if I use up six units my total value will be 110 which means that this six is made up of five and then one unit which is here uh, and that sixth unit has a unit price 10 whereas the first five units have price 20 each so five times 20 gives me 10 uh, 100 plus one times 10 gives me 110 which is exactly what I have here of course, if I if I just increase number of units, uh, my unit price will be adjusted accordingly because this is weighted average. So this time it's gonna be five units and two units uh, valued ten each. And if I put let's say eight, it's gonna be 130 total value, which is right nine. So if I put 9, I will get uh, some strange numbers here, but that's because on the day of 1st of March, I really had only 8 units, not 9. So be, be mindful that you cannot use up more units than you have at a given day. So 9 would work here, right, but not, but not so 9 would work on the, on the 2nd of March, but not on the 1st of March clearly so so that's you know how this uh, how this model works um, if you are keen to learn uh, what formulas look like first of all you can download this file from my website and secondly uh, I can just give you a, a snapshot of these formulas so if somebody is reluctant to download the file from my website I don't know why that might happen but anywhere anyway that's that's you you know this is the formula you have which you can use and just you know type it in in your spreadsheet and it's gonna fly for you so I hope you enjoyed this this short tutorial and maybe as the next one I will try to build a five for, for several different products so imagine you have more items than just one type of your SKU you may have SKU ABC etc and I would try to build a FIFO model that would calculate unit price uh, um, accordingly to type of SKU that you 
receive on your stock and then that you consu consume from your stock thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and feel free to to download this uh, excel fifo model from my website thank you bye